Any tenderness in your forehead. Very good. Mm, tympanic membrane is pearl grey, but a little bit hard to visualize on the left side. Hi, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. Wonderful. My name is Dr. Matt, I'm going to take care of you, and this is Dr. Ramon Lux. Nice meeting you, my name Hello, is Dr. Dr. Lux. Okay, so I see here that we have a 4 o'clock appointment. Mm -hmm. Can you please verify your first and last name and your date of birth? Yeah, Paul Meyer. Okay, wonderful. And can you have your date of birth too? It's July mm -hmm. 9th. Great, okay. So we do have the right chart here. I see here that you're allergic to penicillin, fentanyl, and strawberries. Is that still accurate? Yes. Okay, great. And it says here that you're complaining of a sore throat and also some ear pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when did the pain begin in your throat? Last week. Okay. Has it been uh, on and off or continual? Continuous. Any fever or flu-like symptoms? No. Any hearing problems? No. Okay. Have you taken any medication for the pain in your throat? I do. Do you remember how many milligrams? 400. 400, okay. And did that help? Yeah. That's good. Okay, and on a scale of 0 to 10, how would you rate your pain right now? 3. Okay, is it always a 3? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, have you checked. Thank you. Dr. Mind, thank you. So what we're going to do, we're going to do an ENT exam. We're going to check your ears, your nose, and your throat because all the symptoms that you are experiencing seem to be related to the respiratory system. Okay. Have you noticed anything wrong with your ears? Any ringing, tinnitus? No. And how is your sense of uh, taste? Do you taste okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. And how about your smell? It's fine. Okay, so before we begin the medical exam, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your heart. And Dr. Lila Lox is going to listen to. Just breathe normally for us. And we'll be listening for any murmurs or any signs of abnormalities with your heart. I'm able to hear only S1 and S2. No S3, no S4. Same for me as well. I'm going to go ahead and check your heart with a bell now. I'm not able to hear any murmurs. Nothing abnormal with his um, valve or ventricular muscle. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and listen to the lungs. Take a deep breath in. And and breathe out. Good. Take a deep breath in. No crackling, no swooshing, no signs of pneumonia, clear sound. Okay, wonderful. Is it okay if we take the glasses off? I'm just gonna go ahead and check your face a little bit. Yes. We're going to slowly palpate for any kind of tenderness, especially if you have ears. Okay. So just relax. tenderness on your forehead. Very good. Okay, I'm not feeling any lip node enlargement and I need the jaw on the left side. Right about above the clavicle, no enlargement of the lymph nodes is noted. 
no tenderness behind the ear on the master process. Pressing down on your right ear master crosses any tenderness. Okay, we can go ahead and pull up on the ear. Any pain when we do that? No. And back? No. And down. Okay, let's go ahead and go to inspect. Okay, eyes closed and just rise. First, we take a look. The oracle of the ear looks normal, pinkish color, no discharge. Cartilaginous part on the left side also looks clear. No redness, no lumps, no bumps. Drawn and intact. Okay, let's take a look inside your canal as well and see if we find any signs of infection. Okay. I'm able to visualize the ear canal, pearly gray color for your eardrum, no signs of any infection. Mm, tympanic membrane is pearl gray, but a little bit hard to visualize on the left side. Okay, let's go ahead and check um, your hearing. We have here two tuning forks. We're gonna strike them and cause a vibration. We're gonna place it in two positions, one and two. Let us know which one is louder. Okay, relax. This is position number one and position number two. Two. Excellent. And I will strike it one more time. Let me know when you stop hearing the vibration. No. Perfect. Okay, I'll do the same thing on the other side. This is position number one. This is position number two. Two. Wonderful. Now tell me when you don't hear the sound anymore. No. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and make a sound. Let me know which side you hear it on, left or right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Center. Okay. Can you please tell us how many times you hear the sound? Can you do this? Two. Two. One. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to comb your ears very well. That's great. Have you ever had your ears cleaned yes. in the office office? Okay, so you know how, how efficient it is. It's the best. Wonderful. There you go. So we're going to start with the soft part. A little bit of wax build up over here and it comes right off. So I think we solved the problem with your ears and everything looks back to normal. I'm gonna go ahead and check your nose now. Okay? Okay. Wonderful. So would you like Dr. Fox to palpate and take a look inside? Yes, please. Okay. 
Do you feel any pain when I press down on your sinuses? No. How about up here? No. Okay, does this hurt? No. How about this? No. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Okay. Both nostrils are unobstructed. Excellent. So let's take a look inside your nose. Look up for us. No nasal obstruction noted. A little bit of discharge in the normal amount, though nothing concerning. A little bit of redness, but overall no sign of any infection or inflammation. Okay, I'm going to do a nasal swab. Else, can you come for me, please? It's going to feel just a little bit ticklish. Okay, that's one. Look up. Mm. One, so I'm going to send this to the lab. It's going to come back in 24 hours, and I'm going to let you know. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to check your mouth. Can you please give us a big oh. Um. So the mucus is thick and moist. I'm not noticing any lumps, no swollen glands, teeth are intact, tongue is midline and pain. Can you please move your tongue up and down? Okay, side to side. Okay, can you please smile, frown, puff your cheeks, keep them puffed. Okay, wonderful. Come at your jaw. Okay. You let go of the puff, clench your jaw. Okay, very good. Okay, would you like to do the, um, the mouth swab? And then take out the smelling and the nose, the tasting. Okay, James, I'd like to take a look at the back of your throat as well. Stick your tongue out for me and say, ah, oh. uh. no inflammation noted, teeth are intact. Okay. I'd like to take a swab of your throat as well to check for any strep or any you know, infection in the back of your throat. Is that okay? Yes. Excellent. Look up for me and open your mouth. That's one, and two, excellent. I will send this to the lab and we'll get the results back in about 48 hours. Okay. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and check your smell and your taste. I have here a dropper with an essence, I'm going to treat one drop, tell me what is it that you're tasting. Vanilla. Okay, very good. Beautiful. And I have here a second dropper with a different essence. Lemon. That's the essence, right? Just gonna go ahead and press down on one there. What is it that you're smelling? Vanilla. Vanilla. Excellent. Press down in the second one and tell me why is it that you can smell it? Coffee. Coffee. Oh. Good sense of smell. Okay. So it doesn't seem like your airway is obstructed by anything and we definitely going to have the results of the nasal swab and the oral uh, swab uh, in about 24 hours and we're going to let you know if it's bacterial or viral. Otherwise, um, I'm going to give you some pain medication for your pain, manage it, and we'll go from there. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay. And if it does come back uh, bacterial, we're just going to go ahead and prescribe the good antibiotics that will help fight that. Okay. Wonderful. Do you have any questions for us, James? Uh, no. No questions. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in to our clinic Please and for allowing us to do a medical exam on you. Thank you, Dr. Matt. It was a pleasure.
Thank, Thank you, Dr. Lux. Nice meeting you.